So, Chef Tom, you know what the only good thing about playing Justin Verlander is? I can do you one better. You know what's the good thing about being a Verlander? What? Not only do you have Kate Upton, but you also have Dario just hanging out there. Together? Family functions. Imagine that one. Yeah. Lucky fucks. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Millennial Man Cave. You boys are in the house! We're back against Atlanta. I don't know why I'm yelling. Loud noises. Probably because you got me excited about Upton and Daddario. Yeah, that's a thing. That's a real thing. That's a... Well, Verlander, we're happy that uh, you did what you did, but now we got to slap you around. Hopefully. Let's hope Faria can hold his own. Yeah, we got to get back in the W column here because we have it in a little bit and it's pissing me off hey we're going for win number 69 right after up to dario yeah <laughs> nice <laughs> well it's time to take on my road to the show team <laughs> take it on the braves let's get some action I'm, I'm i'm excited let's dive in we're due for a win we're, we're due, due for, for a win and they're like 51 and like they're well below 500 they so. say home cooking hopefully. does does the dream right hopefully now we got Cruz out and left. He look. He looks a little tired. A little, little tired. Not loving it right now. I'm gonna throw Desmond in. I'm gonna throw Desmond in there. Yeah, do it. That's my. Uh, Even based on. We're gonna go know, executive decision. Although. Field play. I'll probably move Hazy up. Let Desmond come down. Yeah. Um. I could even see Desmond even maybe moving under DeYoung. Do it. I feel like maybe he might offer us a little bit more pop between the two. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Run with it. I'm okay with that. Okay, we get going. So. We have uh, a fun episode today. Wow, we are definitely a road team. Sorry, I'm just looking at the numbers right now because I love my numbers. Numbers are good. We're second in the league in strikeouts. I like that. That's impressive. Fifth in the league in average. Fifth in home runs given up, which is good. Wow, way to go, boys. That's GMing 101. Yeah. Yeah. Let's win a championship. That's what I want to do. That's... Not wait fucking five seasons to do it. Seriously. So, as I was saying, this... Um, this is going to be a fun episode. Do you know why? Why? Because we just came back uh, yes. from your guys' weekend. This is the Gentleman's Weekend. The Gentleman's Weekend. I love lead-off walks to Lindor. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, I'm surprised they would have given him more stealing. Uh, okay, they did say hit and run. That's... Ah, we have Ian Desmond. I'm not too concerned. That's... Grab Ian it. Desmond. He went for the reach. He didn't make it. Um, yeah, so how, how, how did you enjoy your weekend? Ooh. Was it a phenomenal time? So it was a good time. Great time. Uh, shooting range was something of the ages. Awesome. I mean, that 50 cal. Whew, my God, do you move with it. Uh, yeah, it literally almost blew me out of the chair. Jesus. Strikeout city here. Yeah, I'm just mowing guys down right now. I'm what feeling it. come back with that? I'm feeling it. Fire is your boy. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what? He might be my guy this year. He might be. There always has to be the one. There's always one that you get along with. There can only be one Highlander. Nice. Ugh! But, oh. uh, yeah, that 50 cal, guys, girls, whoever, because we did see a couple women rock out the did shooting range. Did we ever? And Holy my smokes, God. can they shoot? It was just like... They, they were... Whew, they were shooting that was, pretty, that was, man. that was impressive. That chick took the 50 cal down the pipe. That was impressive. Like, pew, snipe. And, like, like, her with the AR? Are you kidding me? Yep. My God. Yep. Meanwhile, like, here we are, never having, like, complete novice. Never ne even touching a gun. Never touched a gun in our lives. Like, worried about kickback, and we're, like, got the jitters happening. Nice shot. Nope. Right to the shortstop. Right there. It's and it's, Lindor. It's, it's... Oh, oh. oh. If you're hustling faster, Segura. Yeah, I know. If you would have gave up on that play, we're trading him. <laughs> we're past the trade deadline. Oh, are we? Yeah, we're at the waiver deadline now. We're going to waiver him. We're going to waiver him. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Would you put it past us? No. Woo! Okay. Sorry. Try to so, Pistol went well. Pistol uh, was fun. Let me tell you, though, they always say your back slash shoulders will take a lot of the brunt. Being right-handed that I am, my left shoulder blade was killing me from, like, holding steady. The pistol and the assault rifle. It's aggressive, man. Like, I didn't feel it so much in the shoulder where the gun was resting as I did in, like, the... Oh, my lat on my left side was killing yeah, me. Yeah, lat and shoulder blade on the left side were just, as stabilizers, crying. 
afterwards. Nice eye. Nice Thank eye. You. Thank you. Try to, try, to, try to work the count here. It's Verlander. We have to work the count, man. We, I have, know. We, have to, we have to try to get him out of here before the six. And it's Redick. So, you know, he's a guy who kind of does really well at that. Yeah, he's got an eye, Redick. There you go. Stand alive. There you go. <laughs> Do your best, BGs. I tried. I tried. So we ran around there. We actually ran into Polar Bear Steve in the group. Yeah, we Lots did. Lots of Mike was there. Lots of Mike, Polar Bear Steve, yeah, Nittermeyer. Uh, a couple of those boys uh, ended up showing up with a separate uh, bachelor party, which we had described. Well, actually, Jeff had told me the day of. Yep. Um, you know, sometimes when you make plans, uh, others like to copy. And that happened to be the case, but... Uh, Axe throwing apparently wasn't a thing for them, so they ended up at the same place we were. But it was a good time. We all had a good laugh. It was a great time. Um, from there, we proceeded to the sensory lab at Wayne Gretzky's uh, Whiskey and Wine uh, Distillery. Really cool. Uh, very interesting to see. I, at some point, may have came across as being snooty. As I knew all the answers and... Well, obviously they didn't know that your Chef Tom, they don't watch the Millennial Man Cave. They should probably get on that. Yeah, apparently not. But we had all the other people in the Sensory Lab laughing at our commentary. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, you guys get on the regular as being part of the MMC. People that don't know the MMC just they, got a little snippet of it. They got to learn. While there. And, uh, you know, just calling out, you know, all the answers well before the guy could even get to it. It was really funny. Um, he thought know, he had everybody in the room stumped. We were all hypersensitive, Jeff and I. Uh, yeah, we are taste apparently buds. super tasters. Yeah, we are super tasters. Didn't even know what the hell that was until... Is it ready two outs? Yep. Oh, shit. Well, I got the lead-off walk. Or no, the one-out walk. And then grinded two at-bats that apparently went nowhere, which kind of pissed me off. But then I'll, uh, I'll tag in yeah, here. Yeah, you uh, follow up. Yeah, as you, so we're as you hyper, pay attention. We're so super tasters. We are super tasters, which essentially <laughs> means... Can we, yeah, right there. Look, one of these. We got caught up in the middle. Uh, oh, I'm too excited there. So basically, actually, it's a really cool test, guys. What happened was, so as part of the program, we're testing wine, we're testing whiskey, and he's kind of teaching you the proper way how to like look at it, how to figure out like alcohol content, like all color. that just just by looking at the glass and looking at the the quality, the color, like really, really cool. Can I just say though, was it just me or was the whiskey tasting like? Like an eye opener. Like it, it was too early in the morning for whiskey. Oh, like, like yeah. Like straight up, not like, even on the rocks, just like 12 o'clock. Whiskey. 12 o'clock, right after shooting a gun with no breakfast. Yeah. 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 But we did have a good uh, banana foster with it. Yeah, different. Uh, well, we're not all chefs, man. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us appreciate the non finer things in life. <laughs> and at that point, I was starving. I wouldn't eat anything. So, um, but yeah, really cool. You know, he kind of taught us. The ways to see the wine, the way to taste the wine, like basically picking out through your senses, like you know, sight, uh, touch. Um, we did sound. Sound. Um, what else is it? What are our five senses? Sight, touch, sight, sound, touch, sound, smell, smell, and hearing. Hearing, beautiful. We did all five. He found a really cool way to incorporate it. So it's actually like, like I said. Well, we said sight and sound. Yeah. Uh, taste. We, we taste. didn't say taste. Of course, taste. How do we miss that? Uh, who knows. Still might be having some of the uh, feelings of the weekend. Feelings. And uh, basically, you know, it's a really, really cool experience. And as Chef Tom alluded to, like, you know, the guy's trying to teach us some knowledge. Chef Tom being... He Chef was good, Tom. though. He was Chef good. Tom. I, oh, great I felt character. bad. I felt great, bad. Great then. character guy. I think he was just more so surprised that somebody actually knew the answer. Because there is actually a sixth sense that nobody actually knows about besides people who are in... Food. Food. Umami. 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 It's like a Japanese thing. Uh, it's a meant, it's actually, he said it's meant for a way of savoriness. It's actually meant for fulfillment. Common in mushrooms and steak, they really promote umami feeling. So there you go. That's, uh, Chef Tom's teaching you today. Um, but yeah, so basically with that guy, you know, going through all that stuff with us, and we got down to the point where we had just finished tasting a couple wines, and he says, like, a piece of paper is on the table, like a small little strip. And he goes, I want all of you to put this piece of paper in your mouth. Yeah. And we're like, this guy on drugs? I'm not putting a piece of paper in my mouth. And he's like, I know you guys are probably thinking I'm crazy. And we're like, yeah, pretty much. But he's like, there's a reason behind it, so just do it. So everybody kind of, you know, after kind of saying this guy's crazy, we went for it. We all put it down. You're supposed to put it on your tongue and let it sit there. So he says, what do you guys feel? And pretty well, everybody in the room was like, oh, it's just paper. I don't taste anything. It's just yeah, like normal. Like... And then, uh, you know, one guy's like, ah, oh, it tastes kind of odd. And then I came out saying, it's I, I find it extremely bitter. And then Tom beside me is like, yeah, definitely, definitely bitter. And the guy's like, oh my god, you guys are super tasters. 
So it's, That's so rare. Yeah, apparently it's super rare. He says maybe only about 1-3% to 3% of his people he does the sensory lab with are actually super tasters. And essentially what it is is, is that we have more taste buds than the average person. Or more sensitive taste more buds. More sensitive. No, but it's actually more than the book has said. Wow. Like you have more and then they're more sensitive, as Chef Tom said. So, you know, we can typically pull out a lot more in the things that we drink, the things that we taste with food, anything. We get more of a deep, enhanced flavor than the average person does. So some things that might be extremely salty for us, our tongue would pick that out, whereas someone else might not get that same taste. Yeah. So it's really cool to kind of learn that and know that Jeff, Tom, and I are apparently not the average when it comes to tasting. We are kind of in an elite class, if you will. <laughs> I'll take it. Just kidding. I'll take it. But I'm not. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of a cool learning experience there. We had a good time. It was about an hour um, okay. after a good hour at the gun range. Yeah. From there, we had to move on to our hotel. Go check in. And, uh, you know, we got to go by the falls. Yeah, the gap. Beautiful day. Yeah, Beautiful it was day. like... Like 22? Windy as hell. A little windy. But... Uh, well, that, that's, that's to be expected when you're near the water. By the falls, yeah. 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 And, uh, you know, we got to check in, kind of relax a little bit, and uh, head off to an escape room. Which was one thing that Chef Tom really wanted to do to add to the boys' weekend. And it's super fun. Like, the rest of us have done it before. It's Chef Tom's first time. And we did uh, a room called Synergy. And essentially what the premise of this room was, was that um, you have to crack down some like secret Whoa! society and try and thwart their plan to like take out the world. Yeah, so I mean, I was the novice. Um, you know, I've never done a this, an escape room before. And I was nice like, grab. did a pitcher just get a hit on us? Nice grab. One down. Um... So they put us in there, and you know what, kudos to Cube. Uh, really good place. We had a good laugh about it because all the doors were locked. So I kind of looked at Jeff dumbfounded to be like, was this paid for? Because... Oh, it's funny. Like, it looked like it was, like, locked down. So basically, we had, like, massive windstorms in Canada on the Friday night. So yeah. much so that it knocked out power pretty much across... Majority Ontario. of places. A majority of places in Ontario. So, um... I guess they got affected by it badly with their doors blowing open. So when we got there, we tried to open the doors and nothing's open. We're like, uh, okay. The open sign's on. It <laughs> looks like there's some sort of life in there, but nobody's coming to the door. And I called the property saying like, hey guys, so I have an appointment at three o'clock and nobody's answered the door. So the poor girl felt really bad. She came out, she got us and really cool. Like they, they did very well. They got nice people who worked there and the room was phenomenal. It was a two room, was escape, a two room, room escape room, which too. is even cooler. You had to proceed through... So, we get in there. Uh, Jeff set up the premise. It's in the dormitory. Yeah. Um, you know, and there was a TV there, and the what are the, the game, the head game player? The head... The headmaster. The, the game head, master. The game master uh, was this woman that let us in, and she's watching us on the TVs, and she can hear us, and she's having a laugh just listening to the MMC boys. And, oh, God, yeah. You know, Drew being there, our designer. Our designer. And, and Dave, KMG. KMG. He's, uh, he's a friend. I don't know if we've ever mentioned him before on the show. I feel like we might have. In passing, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Maybe have told a story that he might have been involved with. So the four of us had rendezvoused, and uh, we tried, like, we each took a corner. Uh, I'm flipping up chairs and tables, and I'm finding, like, totally irrelevant. <laughs> totally irrevel irrelevant, like, what I thought were hints. Now, well, guys, like, ask Chef Tom if you looked under the bed. The bed was between <laughs> me and you. No, I was at the uh, the counter. I was looking at the dresser. Yeah, but you and were between like, the dresser and between where I was at the window. You were at the bed, though. I was not the bed. Everybody agreed you were at the bed. <laughs> Anyways. We just busted each other's chops. It was a good time. Uh, one the cool first clue was at the... Well, actually, no. The first clue was at the thermostat. Yes. Which yeah. blew my mind, because how rip, the hell would rip, that have been the first rip step? Rip the thermostat off. Yeah. One cool thing about Cube, guys, so I had, I had been to an escape room before, and uh, essentially at most escape rooms, the game masters, obviously, they're always watching you. They're making sure you're doing the right things, you're not trashing the room, and they're there to help you out in case you ever need, like, a hint. Or I a totally tip. was trashing the room, though. Like, I pulled out the clothes. You, I threw the chairs over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. ripping things off. Hey, we got a first time around here. But, um, I mean, you're supposed to do that for the most part. And um, so the place I went to, they actually didn't have anything that you could contact the game master. Like, you basically had to look at the cameras and be like, hey, okay, we want to use one of our two hints. You didn't know how much time you had either. 
Well, the one cool thing that I said about this place, as Chef Tom mentioned, is that they had a TV in the room, and on the TV, they had a timer letting you know the whole time, being able to track how much time you had left. And the Game Master, if they felt like you maybe you were onto something, but you were a little bit stuck, you hear a little prompt on the TV, and then they could type a message to you, which I thought was really cool. It was a lot more interactive. Yes. And I thought that was really awesome. Um, you know, I think as we mentioned to you guys in one of the previous episodes, we actually took a really big stab at a thing that only had a 19% success rate. We thought it was a little higher. We thought initially when we booked it was like in the 20 range. So their website said 21, 22. When we got there, the bo- updated board was 19. So with it being a two-room one, like it was actually really tough. We, you know, we did our best. We got down to the last two clues in the second room. Yeah, I guess so. So yeah. we did have decent. She said she was impressed, especially for only four people because you can do upwards of eight. So we actually took the lowest you can do and did pretty half decent. We gave them a good laugh, as Chef Tom said, with, you know, joking around, chirping each other, trying to figure out the puzzles. And uh, overall, really I just made me laugh how long we focused on Flugi being oh the God. password to the computer. I know. I know. <laughs> We spelled this one word like 20 different ways. I thought we were going to get locked out of the computer, to be honest. Oh, God. But like two puzzles away, man. We were so close. We tried so hard to get out of that damn thing. And, you know, the boys rallied together. We gave our best. We were all kind of sad. And we left. Yeah. We are like, this is terrible. So we, uh, from there, oh, oh, that was a bad glitch. But all right. That didn't hit him? Apparently not. I got out of the way. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um. Yeah. So... From there, we went back to the hotel, and um, Chef Tom's a little tired, so took a nap. Okay, so, <laughs> all I'm going to say is, I took, I was lying down because the meds I'm on and this and that, I was tired, I slept like crap the night before, as soon as I lied down, they all lied down. Well, yeah, it's your day, so if you were going I to sleep, give a shit. we're all going to sleep. You didn't yeah. have to. Yeah. Of course we did. Where are we going to go? We're going nowhere. Actually, no, we did pretty good. We can't forget that in between, we went to go to the hot sauce store they had. Phenomenal. Was, yeah, we all dropped some money there. Really good. We went for some awesome bubble tea. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, the bubble tea. They had beside this place called Pepper Palace, which is in like the Galleria where the uh, casino is. Oh, come on. Um, They had a bubble tea. kidding me? And a Colonel's. Well, if you guys don't know what Colonel's which is. Which is combined, which I've never seen before. Never. Uh, Colonel's is basically just like a really good popcorn place yeah, yeah it's like franchise they got many different types of popcorn like caramel jalapeno jack i i don't ask questions about mlb anymore it was good and i'm dead on okay yeah sure yeah, yeah that's mlb um thanks guys <laughs> i know you guys are all going through the same thing that's why i'm not gonna make a comment on it i'm gonna stay on a positive note and talk about the guys weekend because i feel like they want to know what happened our viewers are really good that way, and everybody said, you know, hope you guys have a great time, which ended up working out perfect, because that episode dropped the day we were actually in Niagara, so we were reading those messages at the hotel. Yeah, it was a good time. So it was actually really cool, and um, so basically, you know, we went to Pepper Palace, I tried bubble tea for the first time. Oh god, your face was hilarious. It was uh, something I will never do again. It wasn't a traditional bubble tea that was tapioca based, I will say that, it was more the traditional route that was uh, with like... Jelly? Jellies. Um, it's an acquired taste, no lies. Uh, the so, taste was good. The jelly would gross me out. Yeah, I know. Like the black tea, I, I I drink black coffee. I like black tea, but do not give me jelly in my drink. It was an, it was interesting. I hadn't actually had a bubble tea like that either myself. But uh, all I'm gonna say is we all pretty much junked it before we even finished it. Well, like I mean, you you and I junked it before we even made it like down the hallway. Yeah, but I had finished like three quarters of mine. So the I rest got, of mine was jelly, and I said no. I got about a quarter way down. I was disgusted. We got some great popcorn, though. Yeah, the popcorn made up for it. The oh, hot sauce it. made up for it. Hot sauce was great. So finally, we got back to the room. We started having some refreshments of sorts. Yep. We won't get into what kind of refreshments. Yeah, a little vanilla crown, which I'm sure you guys... Oh, no, man. Crown is a Canadian thing. It is. It's a premium in the U.S. So vanilla crown, if you guys haven't had a chance to try it... Delicious. We endorse it. We're not paid to say this. Only if you're old enough to drink. <laughs> Only if you're old enough to drink. Fair enough. I know it's 21 in the U.S. Yeah, we got we got put up like a uh, disclaimer. Yeah, on the bottom there, Jeff. We do not condone underage drinking. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Why, Fairy? Are you trying to hit Rolander? Um, he's jealous of Kate. But, pff, fair enough. Can you blame him? Fair enough. But basically, you know, we had we had a great great time there. Head back up to the room. Nap time. Jeff, Tom, uh, nap time. Now I woke up before everybody, so you know, screw everybody. You're also the first one to fall asleep. 
whatever. <laughs> we had we had some really good laughs in the hotel. Just typical guy debauchery. Like it really made for all oh, a good stab. Good jump. Yo, oh! what a gun! Get some. Wow. And a boy or an auto? Finally. Whole time. Finally. Charles okay. Three zero. Home run. Three zero. Um. Wow, we're ready on the fifth. So we. How long do we sleep? Like why do it I was like, like an hour and a half? I feel like I got so much with that, but we did have a really early start in our defense as well. Yeah, we were up on the road at like eight. Eight o'clock. Yeah, we were on the so. road. Um, I was up till about three o'clock in the morning the night before, so I was tired. Um, I was up early, like probably one of the earliest out of all of us because everything started at my place. Yes. Having uh, Lefty show up yep. and waiting. Um, so from there, we uh, had to go for our dinner. At uh, Braza Brazilian Steakhouse. If you've never been before, Brazilian Steakhouse is essentially, they have what are called the guachos. So they come out with a sword that has a bunch of like different, different kind of meats. meats. And there was lamb shoulder. There lamb, was picanha. Picanha. There, there was, was roasts. Roasts. There was um, uh, short ribs. Filet mignon. Pork. Bacon wrapped chicken. Bacon thighs. Bacon thighs, chicken breasts. Bacon pancakes. If you guys know that reference, drop it below. Oh, come on. I feel like you beat that out. Okay, that was fast. This has been a, a quick game so well, far. I, we can't apparently hit anything off Verlander, even though we're squaring them up to perfection. So it's kind of like, a, well, let's just see when MLB decides to screw us Are over. Are you kidding? Okay. Yeah, that one's real lucky there. So for, we went to Braza, and uh, for the most part, like, one thing to know about this place, guys, you cannot eat big meals. So I try to tell these guys, like, you know, keep it calm, keep it cool. There's a little buffet on the side which you can go get any, like, like salads and your greens and your... Like, so if you guys aren't familiar with the, the like steakhouse, uh, Brazilian steakhouse uh, phenomenon, uh, there's usually a green card and a red card. Oh, it's really cool. It's AKA stop and go. Yeah, it's like feed me or I'm full. Yeah, like pass my table. So if you have it on red, the guachos don't stop at the table. If you have it on green, every guacho that comes who has a different meat or whatever will come by and ask you if you want some. Or grilled pineapple. Or the grilled pineapple with cinnamon. Guys, it is absolutely... A must. Like, delicious. If you ever have a chance to go to Brazilian Steakhouse, I, like, suggestion, ML, like, the MMC suggestion, do it. Yep. Do it. It's a hell of an experience. Even, like, all-inclusive, do they have them, some of them? It is awesome. If you're traveling, awesome. well worth it. So, we, uh, we ate extraordinarily well. We pretty much all needed a stomach pump at that point. Oh, God. It was really gross. We were all getting, like, meat sweats. Oh, the meat sweats were terrible. Absolutely terrible. But, like, so worth it. Oh, God, yeah. So, from there... And some of the, like, eye candy was worth it as well, so... Like, if you weren't full from eating, you were full from looking. <laughs> say no more. So, okay, look at the menu as long as you eat at home, you know? <laughs> I could say this. Chef Tom, you heard it there. Um, I gotta get that on a t-shirt. Drew, make it happen. Get on it. MMC styles. <laughs> so basically, from there, you know, we're, we're absolutely full, and we make our way over to the casino. Yep. Uh, Chef Tom was the, uh, led the charge. You know, we kind of followed him around the casino where he wanted to go. Made his way from, like, craps to roulette to, uh, what else did you play? Let it ride. Which Let is, it uh, ride. Kind of a version of poker. Like, like a quick version of poker. Yeah. So, you went down pretty quick. Yeah. Down pretty quick, and then like just grinded his way back, boom, 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 to like making money before we left. Um, our other buddies, they both lost, and then I had a half decent night. At the casino. You fared, you fared well. I won seven hundred dollars. Not too shabby. Not too bad. I just played roulette, and I pretty much just always go hundred on black, and then doubled up multiple times, which blows my mind. Yeah. It was, it was good. It was good. Come on! Like, oh, okay. Okay, go, go. That's a double. That's a double. No. Oh, my God. Not even enough. Why were you not hustling down that line to go for two? That's a long single. But it's a lark day, though. Out of boy. It was an E9, so it's not even a hit. What? Did it not hit the wall? Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Out of boy, Grichuk. Good stuff. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> Just early, but a good swing. Uh, it looked like you teed that one up pretty nice. I thought I got around. I, I don't. Though. I don't understand the PCI, the hitting on this game. Like it, it's all over Twitter again. Like people are just bashing the fact that this game is becoming unplayable. And they put out an update saying they're gonna fix it. And it actually potentially got worse from what I'm hearing. So I mean, I don't know, man. Your runner. We'll take it. I'll take that. 
So, that was actually a pretty good dribbler down the third baseline. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. It was enough time to get the second. It's in scoring position. So from, uh, from the casino, we were there for a good, like, two, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Yeah. And it's about 12, 12.30. I and... felt so bad for KMG and Drew because they both wanted to play and wanted to fare well, but both of them just lost. Yeah. Yeah. They had a couple uh, just unlucky streaks. They kind of lost. They both were down and out. I was already up pretty big pretty early. I just kind of stood around watching. I was going to bet multiple times. I'm just like, I came with this. I'm leaving with this. I'll accept it. I'm good with it. <laughs> and then Chef Tom grinds his way back into a plus. So it worked out really well. Yeah. Head back to the room. Some more good laughs. Some more uh, little grub back in the food. We brought some snacks and stuff. Veteran moves. And your boys passed out. Bright and early. Bright and early. We're up bright and early. And then went to a really good breakfast place um, by the casino. Oh, come on. I, I didn't hit that. Uh, called Famous. So, guys, again, if you're in that Niagara area, go check it out. Really, really good. I know a lot of you guys are in Buffalo as well. So, I mean, I know it's worth right it there. It's worth the drive. If you guys ever go, take our advice, man. Really good spots. And uh, Chef Tom had waffles for the first time. Like, legitimate waffles, not like Eggo waffles. So... Thank you, AI, for pushing that. No, I, I tried to do a hit and run. Thank you, Chef Tom, for pushing the runner. I tried to do a hit and run. Um, so we had a really good breakfast. Got to go to uh, some colonels again. For the women at home. For the ladies at home, thinking about the wives. Wow, Warren's really falling off, hey? 76? Yeah, I know. But he's our only long reliever. I know. So that was um, that was pretty much it, man. We all ate well for breakfast and then uh, head home. Yeah, we all had good talks. My parents crashed my own party. <laughs> yeah, man, that was that was awesome. We got to see them while we're at breakfast, and so they just poked their heads out. We saw uh, Polar Bear Steve again. We did. You're right. I keep forgetting to see if Steve got paid via mic to me. He did from me. Confirmed. Confirmed. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. The boys. Uh, it was funny that we got to see them too as well. Just uh, apparently well, massive bachelor weekend in Niagara for a lot of guys, actually. There's a bunch of parties we saw that in the Oh, casino. yeah. When we first started gambling on the roulette tables, I met the guy by the name of Phil. Yeah, great guy. Just... Shout-outs to Phil if you ever watches this. Yeah, you know. Sorry that uh, I had to take you guys off the table. <laughs> Seriously, you were like, excuse me while I just double up here. <laughs> He's like, you're going to bet against me? I'm like, yeah, sorry, Phil. It's coming up black. It came up black. <laughs> and then Phil was all out of money and he left. Oh, well. You know, it happens. It does. Yeah, you win some, you lose some. As we said, guys, uh, again, do not... Uh, gamble outside your means. Gamble outside your means, yeah. We we all came responsibly. We knew how much we could spend. We didn't spend any more than that. Uh, some of us got lucky and won. Others did not, but they didn't go beyond their means. Yeah, no, they, they stay. They said, this is money that I'm kissing, whether it's here or not. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like uh, when they took it out of the bank, it was goodbye. Yeah. They're just like, okay, we're just here for the fun. Wow, they're keeping Verlander in, eh? Well, yeah, he's freaking dummying. That's it. All right. We're through seven. <laughs> through seven. Let's see if we can get a run up here. Would Come be on, nice. boys. Full count, of course. Energy's okay, his low, energy's though. getting low. So but he's I mean, like got confidence on everything right now. He could make some mistakes. Well, I'm hoping so. He could make some mistakes here. But I mean, I'm still probably going to square it up and then just fly out. <laughs> uh, like everybody else. Apparently, I foul tipped that one. Didn't look like I should have, but I'll take it. Um, I, I, haven't, I haven't been able to call anything. Like, that's one thing about this game that I'm... Oh, that's got to go. On, get up. That's got to go. Get up. Get up, son. Woo! Okay, we were just talking. That's what, 26 on the year? Nolan Arenado, baby. That's what we needed. Woo! Man, I, I, I sat. I sat on that one. I'm like, ugh. I got that power swing out there. But look at this guy hop the wall, man. He got up, like, high. Like, how is he as tall as the wall? He got up high. That was Let terrifying. Tell you. Well, okay, that would make you sense at least. Good and good. Drop the energy. So I'll take it. Um, Full count again, eh? Yeah. I got back-to-back -back full counts on him. On our heavy hitters, no okay. less. Okay, I'll take on it. On Aeronaut on Hosmer. I'll take it. We, we got to grind out the rest of this game right now. See? so One we did, nothing is nothing. We did our usual, like, MMC, like, talking. We weren't paying attention. We just, like, played good baseball. Trying to find our way through. Come on, that's got to get... No, no. Contact hit, no good. I understand. <laughs> I get it. Can we see the PCI for that, please? Please? Yep. Yeah. Good yep. and good. Yep. Yep. Straight to him. I get Not it. Not even like a run. No. It was just like... Nothing. Just perfectly right there to him. That's go. got to get in that's there. That's touching. Beautiful. That's touching. Beautiful. Man. That might do it for him. I assume they're going to look to potentially get him out here. That's I don't know. That was an 0-2 count on you. So, I mean, ground ball, and he's through the inning. That's true. So, we'll see. Yeah, no. Oh, they're keeping him in. And we got Desmond in, who... 
We know he can do some damage. He can... He has some muscle he can flex. I'm hoping even... There you That's go. up the middle. Now they might consider Let's it. go, baby. Let's go. This is the time to rally. Rally, rally. Pitcher's name is Sally. Pitcher's name is Verly. Kate Upton. <laughs> They're still leading him in. Wow, eh? So the confidence is coming down slightly Good now. and good contact there, so I definitely like that. It's your count. 3-1. 3-1. Right. 3-1, your count. Kevin Pilar up, too. Um, so he threw me away there on the slider. Could he potentially try and just get this over with a fastball? Oh, man, oh, that curveball. Wow. That fell off the that table. That was dirty. That fell off the table That was like so pitcher perfect hard. on the corner. Uh, maybe a low fastball? No. Yep, layoff. Okay. I'm okay. walking away. There, there it is. is. That's the hook. There it is. Louis Padermo coming in here. All right, Kevin. This one is your time. Count. So Verlander is responsible for all the runners on base right now. This is going to be tight, man. Is he going to take me inside, maybe? He's got a two-seamer, so I feel like he's going to be throwing you fire. Yeah, that was a two-seamer. I called it inside, but he went up. Ah, these situations, they get me going nuts. And his second pitch is actually a slider. Is he going to try to keep it down, maybe go for the double? No. Ah! Oh, skies it. Infield fly. Whatever. I'll take no double play. I'll take that. At least if I can get a single here, potentially get one more run in, give us a little bit of a cushion. They want you to take Warren out. And it makes sense. It makes sense to do it. So we have the righty up. So we got the switchies. We got the switchies. Ooh, I leave it to you. So we got good contact with Solarte at 74. Good power. Yeah, Solarte seems to be the best. I mean, we could put in Cruz if you really want to get the big bat in. You know what? Let's do that. He's going for the heavy hitter. When you got the bases He's juiced. He's going for the heavy hitter. When you got the bases juiced, you kind of have to, am I right? It's 1-1 one, one count, so I mean, you got some pitches here. Oh, Another that's line. down the line, Another baby. Line. That's going to score two. That's two. That's scoring two. Atta boy, Nelly Cruz. That's clutch hitting. Woo! Clutch hitting. Like you did there. Yeah, I got it. Well done, sir. I got it. Look oh, how he's feeling jacked it. He's just up like, Nelson yeah. Cruz is right now. He's feeling it. He's like, I want to play for a winning team, coach. That's Put what I in. came here for. Yeah, so I was seriously. early on that splitter, eh? I hit underneath it and just was able to squeeze it down the third baseline. That was awesome. All right, come on, Segura. Oh, if I could have just pulled that. Way early. Yeah, just like top of the bat. Good contact, though, apparently. Just couldn't straighten it out. Um, two seam inside. Is he going to try and get me? Yep. Yep. Laying off. That's where you okay. just got to like, put the knee out there just a little bit more. <laughs> Just take it off the Just outside. take it off the knee. We can't afford to lose him, man. You can't do it. And so Lord, he comes into the lineup full time. I know, but... Oh. Full count. Way full to work count. it. Way to work it. Okay, I'm starting, to, I'm starting to see a little bit of Padermo here. I'm starting to get his pitches going. Now I'm just trying to see if I can call him so I can at least get myself ahead. Ah, he got he me got inside. You. He got you. All right, so... We were able to pad the stats a bit. Hey, 3 nothing lead is pretty. And you got Canley I'll who's up that. for the 8th right now. That's not too bad. Yeah, you'll probably want to look to get Smith up for the 9th. This is what we need. Oh, shit. Oh, you put in our closer early. I don't want to do this. Well, he's in now. Nothing you do. We're not going to waste the closer. He's going to go up for the 6 out safe. That's what we're doing. Get there. Oh, that's not good. That's the first hit of the game. Yep. Yeah, it's okay. Yep. Yeah. It's okay. No oh boy. I saw you like at warm up, but I'm like, why are you going to put in game? Thought it was Canley. I thought it was Canley. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Tying runs up to the plate already. We need a uh, big double play ball here. That should get to? Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is, uh,. Not how we wanted the eighth to go. Full count, or, uh... He's got uh, about zero confidence at this point. There we go. Okay. Those kind of pitchers will start getting the confidence back up. Or a little bit, yeah. I saw it come up there. Oh, I should get him. And that's going to be shallow. Come on, Polar. That's going to be come shallow. Come on, Polar. Rush in. Fires the cannon. Fires the cannon. No, he's got too much speed. 72. That was Lindor. I think you do. Okay. We gave up one. Let's just get out of the inning. We'll take it. God, his confidence is just rattled. Rattled right now. I'm trying everything I can. 
Yeah, his energies went to crap too really fast. What the hell's that about? So I pitch one inning. You got two out now. Two out now. Like I'm hitting decent. You know what? Here, here, here. You know what? You want? Do you want a little bit of a talk? You're gonna, you're gonna go out and have a little. Uh, I'll give you a talk. A little conversation with him yeah, right now. Here, here. All right. Stroke your ego a little bit. You got the 19 pitches. You're closer. We're only asking for six outs. Figure it out. Yeah. Get Pajosian and Kep. Warm up. No. See, I was doing no. it again. Warm up. <laughs> Trying to kill us, man? Come on. Blue, give me a fucking call. Yeah, he's uh, he's been tight this game. Like, some he's letting go, and then some he's just being a douche. That should do it. That should do it. All right, out of the inning. Conceded a run. Only one. I got to trust Pilar to make that play. I got Nothing. screwed up with, uh, if it wasn't Carson, I feel like we could have done better. If it was Cantley, yeah. Yeah. He was nicely warmed up. He's ready to go. Who knows? We'll see what Carson I does. I got to take the pitch. You got, he got lucky there. I was actually in. Woo! I should have been a strike. There you go. He gave it back to you. Look at that. See, blue every once in a while oh, works God, out. Oh, God, that's totally in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 100%. It works out fair every once in a while. Now, this is the man who started off the scoring. Oh, that's gone. That Wow, that bounce. <laughs> that's okay. picture for you. I mean, that's the runner. Okay. We'll take that. That's massive, man. Yeah. Runner in scoring position with no out now. Even if you get a sack fly here. That would definitely work for us. Let's go, Arnardo. Nice. Takes it low. Okay. You got big boy Hazi on deck. 297. Your count here. And he's getting tired, too. Look at that. Slider down. Energy's coming low. He's got to try and maybe catch him here on a mistake. Puts that back up. Oh. No. Slim no. door. Slim yeah. door. In a good spot. You know he's going to make that play. Yeah, he knows it. Hey, you know what? Aaron Otto's had a decent game for us, actually, so I can't chirp. He got us the lead. Can't yep. be mad at him for that. He finally got a clutch hit for us. You know what? I'm going to say he's going to come for inside. Us. <laughs> oh, you took my uh, go-to? Just, just pointed there. All right, Vance is a runner. Yeah, runner 90 feet away. Just a uh, bloop single. That's all you need. Little, little bloop single. And De Jong is a guy who can do that for you. He's due. He can do that for you. He's due. So you got early, good contact. Didn't drop in that time. But if De Jong can give us a play. Ooh, high slider, eh? Those are tough, man. I feel like you can't like do anything with that either. No. No. You hit it, you have no idea where that's going. Especially on the inside, too. You got to get the hands around in time. Ah, oh my god. That was just foolish. Okay. That was just foolish. We go to the ninth. Okay, shut him down. It's three outs. Can Carson Smith, who came in cold, finish off the game? Are you actually going to try this? Oh, yeah. That's one. Let's go. Arenado. Boom. Done. That's one. I guess it's the back end of their order also. Yeah. I mean, plus, this is our closer. This is the guy who you acquired, who apparently they gave trust to. I mean, we had Bedrosian and Canley, who both at times this season battled for our closing role. And Neris. And Neris. Can't get... I can forget Neris. all three boys. I can't forget Neris. Yeah, we almost literally had three closers going. Oh, come on. Get it over. Come on. Ugh. That's it. Boom. Yeah, Sinker down. Gets Taylor going. Let's go. Let's go. Let's finish this one off. Rupp, a guy that you had I with had your rebuild. I had Nap. Yeah, Rupp. Was that Nap? No, you had Rupp. No. Mm, you sure? Yeah. Really? Yes. I don't remember. Ugh. Yeah, buddy. There okay. we go. One strike. Let's finish him off. Let's finish him off. I feel like he's not going to like the slider away. Ah! Get that. He's slow. Yeah, he's 19. He's 19 oh, on God. the run. That was just like a... Just Easy get on peasy over. lemon squeezy. Yeah. That's back in the W column. Well time. Taking it. Well time. Taking it. Let's just Good stuff. fast forward through this. We know it's oh, going to yeah. be Nelson Cruz, player of the game. Look at Feria. No hits through six. No hits through six. Where do I see? Oh, there you go. Good stuff. Five walks, eight strikeouts. Yeah, the five walks are tough. That's that's where you get like the unlucky when it's like a 3-1 count. You take over, you get one pitch, you screw up, and it's a walk. Yep. That's what quick counts does, guys, but we like that faster gameplay. So Adam Warren comes in, gets the win. And Carson Smith, 28 save. Wow. That's 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 respectful. It's good stuff, respectful. man. Respectful. That's good stuff. I like that we have multiple guys who can close. Yeah. Because you get wow, one guy who shits the bed. Just four and fourteen. Make the change. True. And we have multiple guys that we can just like just roll the dice on. They've been cycling. Which I like. Oh, I got a Braves hat. Yeah, fitting. Beat the Braves, get the Braves hat. So, so that's that finishes the month. 
Here we go. September. We go to September. So what? I feel like we should take Cincy. Is that our next game? Cincinnati at home? Just because they are ahead of us. So we got Cincy at home. And oh, we have Cincy on the road, too. You want to take them on the road to see the... That we could potentially do. You want to take Miami at home? Miami's a really good team as well. Let's, let's try Miami at home and Cincy on the road. Okay. So that's going to be our next game. So we lost the rest of the series to Atlanta. We lost to Milwaukee. Boys, come on. This is games we need yeah, to win. We need big dubs here, man. So AAA didn't make it. 64 and 76, that's unfortunately. Double uh, A didn't make it either. 500. 70 and 70. They're a 500 team. We're not going to stop for the minor leagues. Oh, my God. Nah, yeah, that's a couple of really big losses. We're like, only four games above 500 right now. I don't think we're going to make the playoffs. Jesus. Like, right now, I'm pretty sure that pro we're seven games back. And where does that have us in the wild card? Tied. Oh, three-way tie. Holy. Three-way tie. We got to we gotta play the Reds. We got to take the Reds. Oh, my God. Well, sorry, not three-way tie. Reds have it. We're Reds tied have with the pod Padres. So the and Mets half, game half game behind. Back. Guys, this is not time to go cold. So let's see who do our, who are our pitch options here. We're not picking Ferry again. So no, we got Ferry out, we got Weaver, and we got Paxton. I think Weaver. Weaver. Yeah. Yeah, Weaver against Tyler Anderson. Fortunately, we got to go against the lefty. Uh, but here, like our big games. Look, we got Milwaukee coming up. We got to take that series. St. Louis, they're a losing team. We got to take that series. Kansas City, like we got a lot of losing teams here. These are games we have to win. Chicago is going to be a big series. And look, we end off on Cincinnati. My God. Okay, sim it. Okay. okay, that's the there first dub. That's a good that's win. That's the first dub. So, win. you guys can see Weaver's been probably our best pitcher all year. 12-3. and three. He's going to go up against Tyler Anderson this next game. And the postseason is 29 days away. This, this is do or die now. This, this is, is do or die. Ridiculous right now. It's going to be tight, man. Guys, uh, until next time, we've said it during the episode. Thanks for tuning in. We love you guys. Keep hitting those notifications. Ring that bell. Like the video. Show some love to Clutch, also Insane Labs, for all your, you know, late night gaming, studying needs. They got some uh, workout supplements there for you also, Jeff's a big fan of. I took a thing with the gym. Red Bull's another guy that we are teamed up with, that has <laughs> all of our merch, Red Bubble. Oh, that's said Red Bull. I'm oh. like, we're teamed up with Red Bull? I wish we were teamed with Red Bull. <laughs> Red Bubble, guys, go check them out for all MMC merch. I usually uh, put a link right there, just saying. Right just here. Like, right, like, that far corner that way? Yeah. Just saying. You'll get our branding logos on mugs, t-shirts, phone Can cases, canvases, phone cases, you name it, it's there. cases. We're working on toques and hats because we know that's a big market that we want to get into. We do love toques and hats. So stay tuned on that. We will provide updates as they become available. Yep. Jeff, am I missing anything? No. Roll it out. I'm rolling it out. Well... It is September. It is September. Boys, keep on swinging. Nice. Classic.